So for everyone that's asking about what happened last night, um, so we got home from our, uh, so during this fast that we're doing right now, um, every evening, typically around like when dinner time would be, we meet up at the church for like an hour of praise and worship. And then we split up in groups and just kind of talk about, you know, like what our ask is for like clarity or healing or whatever. We split up in the groups, we pray over people, we get prayed over. Uh, then we get home last night and there was literally water pouring from the ceiling. It was, it was coming through this crack right here now in our kitchen. Um, so apparently the kids clogged the drain up in the bathroom and so the drain was clogged in the bathroom in the bathroom sink and the sink was completely overflowed all out on the end of the bathroom and I'm assuming the water got up got underneath the cabinet and and it just proceeded to start leaking down through the subfloor into the kitchen. Um, unclogged the drain last night, dried up all the water, and that seemed to stop everything. So it's not coming from anywhere else. We're worried that it was like, you know, the air conditioner or the dehumidifier upstairs, like overflowing or something like that, but that wasn't it. So thank goodness. Uh, but it wasn't fun. <laughs> so anyone that has experience with stuff like this, I don't know now if I need to open up the ceiling to let stuff dry out or if it's going to dry up naturally or what. I don't know if I need to start cutting into the ceiling. Um, it's not leaking anymore. So what do we need to do? Danielle started to file a claim with insurance and I told her last night, I'm like, babe, it's not going to be worth it. Insurance companies do not want to pay out for stuff like this and remediation and stuff. The deductible is going to be outrageous and just figured that out today. So, um, obviously it's all going to come out of pocket if we start paying into this. Do you have any suggestions? Let me 